Hey guys, so I just watched the Pokemon Direct and I kind of have some mixed feelings about this just because, I mean, this is the first ever DLC that we ever got in for an official Pokemon title that is this big. Um, so what they decided to do is that instead of making a second title, which is pretty much an expansion of the last title, they decided to go with the DLC, which I understand that it's a little bit smart thing to do because... Usually, they don't really change anything about it. But my biggest problem about this DLC is that they're kind of charging too much for it because it's $30. And that's for each pack. And if you want to get the full experience, not only do you have to get Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, but you also have to get the expansions of both of them, which um, it's too much money for those that really want to have the complete experience of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Right now, I'm actually looking at the Direct again, just so I won't miss out at any points that I have to do. Um, but looking here is that when they first announced the DLC, you kind of look at Masuda's face and... Like, their face kind of looks like they're a little bit guilty doing it. Or they're like, you know, they know they're going to get backlash on it. So it's still kind of a mixed review. If you look at everybody right now who are, are talking about this, they're kind of... Um, mixed feelings about this some are excited some of them are not i was actually expecting um for this to get a lot of um negative reaction but actually there's a lot of positive reactions so you never know this is the first time we're ever going to get a dlc so hopefully game freak does not mess us up with this um they did say that they were going to include over 200 pokemon in this dlc which i mean duh you have to if you're going to give us a dlc you better include more pokemon on this right but it just sucks how they took away a lot of the Pokédex, you know? Like, half of the Pokédex in order for them to somehow make the graphics better? I don't know. But seeing here, at least they included some of um fan-favorite Pokémon. They included um Venusaur and Blastoise. But the thing is that this was kind of a given because they were already on the Pokédex to begin with. Okay, right now I'm looking at the Isles. The Isle of Armor, which is pretty cool. You have a new legendary, which is actually, it looks pretty sick. It's Cub Fu. He's a fighting type and he evolves into two different types. And honestly, I'm actually going to like it. Like, and you could also use him in online play, which you can't really use legendaries online. So they make sure that they tell you that it's online. And I'm looking at the Gigantamax forms of the starters and they look pretty sick. I actually like, um, I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I forgot his name, damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just, I'm not too much into these Pokemon games. I don't know if you could tell. Well, I don't know. I gotta tell you guys that Pokemon Sword and Shield are actually, for me, it's the weakest Pokemon game in the franchise. I actually prefer, you know, Ruby and Sapphire over this, but... I'm still looking to see what else they're giving us. They are giving us um new wild areas, which looks a lot better than like the ones that we got in the first place. We do have new suits, which is pretty sick. There's the legendary Cal Calyrex, which he looks pretty sick. He resembles a crown, so that's why he has a huge head. All right, the co-op mode, I don't know what that is yet. Um, they're explaining it, but I still don't know. And they are including um the legendaries, pretty much. I don't know, I think they said most of them or something. It looks like they're including all of them right now. And it looks like we have new Regis too. The thing that got to me the most are the three legendary birds. Now they have different forms. I really hope these are not um, Gigantamax forms. I actually want to catch them and, you know, actually use them anytime I want. I'm really loving the Articuno one. That one that looks like Articuno. It looks so awesome. They're getting new costumes, new clothes to wear, which is pretty sick. And I hope that we get better Pokemon for the raids because I'm getting kind of tired of the, seeing the same Pokemon again and again. But they are going to include newer Pokemon. So, you know, obviously they have to include better raids now, right, with other Pokemon. And they did say that even if you don't buy the DLC, you're going to get a free update. So you can still get the Pokemon that are going to be included with the DLC. And of course, they kind of have to do that because, you know, if you do the surprise trade, you know, wonder trade. Um, you're going to have to do that because the thing is, um, the servers, you know, they're all connected together. And if you don't include the new Pokemon, it's kind of, you know, it's going to mess up with the server. So, of course, they had to do that. But I feel like 
let's say they had the choice not to do it, I'm pretty sure they could have just, um, well, I'm actually seeing it right now. I'm guessing if they had the choice to, to not include, um, the free Pokemon, I don't think they would do it just to encourage people to buy it more. But I feel like just because they had to, you know, they're saying, oh, and we're going to include all the new Pokemon in this new update, you know, because otherwise you can't really play online. You know, it's going to split the community in half if you pretty much don't include the new Pokemon. So I feel like that's a given, you know, they're kind of making it seem like you, you know, it's like an honor to have all this stuff for free. All right, and then there's the Galarian Slowpoke, which actually he, he looks all right. Um, the evolution is kind of being teased a little bit more. Um, is I don't know. I'm actually I want to get Slow King, but I have Pokemon Sword version, so I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna get Slow Bro, which is all right. I don't mind, but there's the thing we don't know how they look like, so you never know. Slow Bro might look a lot better than Galarian Slow King. All right, so. See, this is what got to me the most. It's $30 each. $30 for each DLC. The first one will be on June 2020 and the other one's on the fall. So pretty much it tells you that there's going to be, you know, there's not going to be any new Pokemon game. There's going to be the DLC. So that's their way of, you know, not re-releasing the same Pokemon game again. Just like with, with um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And, you know, honestly, that was, yeah, a big waste of money. I, like, there's no difference between the two. Like, out of all the Pokemon games that were remade, um, those were the least, um, you know, or maybe, it, well, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say, yeah, comp well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't even say <laughs> I don't delete that part. But. See, and then uh, I'm kind of looking right here. If you want to get the expansion pass, you're going to have to, like, like stare at that every single time. So let's say you don't want to buy that. You're one of those people who don't want to buy the expansion pass. They're going to have to like throw it in your face every time you press the start button or the X button. Um, they are including these, um, shirts, which they're all right, you know, but it's just like, you know, it includes it with the, with the pre-purchase. If you're going to pre-purchase this, but I would prefer something better other than just a shirt that you're probably not even going to wear or you just want to show off or you're going to show off, you know, just people that you play online with. But I don't know. I'm, I'm also have mixed opinions. When I first saw this, I was against it just because like, I'd rather have a brand new game. You know, usually they change like the textures or the fonts or at least your clothes or how the trainer looks like in the beginning. But it looks like we're not going to have that. Um, the thing about Pokemon Sword and Shield, like the cool part is that you don't have to start all over for this game. You're going to um, continue using your same Pokemon, but it's going to suck if you know, you're kind of over level to do these new missions or these new gyms. So I don't know. I really feel like this should have been free to begin with. Or, it, you know, it should have been included with the game to begin with. Like, I feel like Pokemon Sword and Shield should have been released this year instead of last year. Because, to be honest, with Pokemon games, we've been getting post content. Like, but it's been lacking the recent titles. And the thing that it seems like right now is like they're selling us post content, which we could have, you know, for free. Just like we did with um, Pokemon Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they pretty much included the the Delta episode, which you know was free, and it was always been like that. And now I just feel like they're just selling us post game content. So for right now, that's how it feels. But I'm just going to see how it's going to turn out. I don't know if I'm going to get this day one. I want to see some reviews on it or something. Um, I don't know. I just, with Pokemon, I'm like, I'm starting to get bored of it, which is kind of sad. You know, I'm still waiting for the Gen 4 remakes that hopefully with that, I'm able to like go back into Pokemon. But I don't know if you noticed, I stopped kind of playing Pokemon for a while. I've been, X and Y have been the last games that I've, I've gone so into. Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, a little bit, you know, I kind of got out of it because, you know, I love Shiny Hunting, but now they, you know, Shiny Hunting for this game is kind of like crazy. You know, you have to catch 500 Pokemon for it. And I, I did it already. I've been trying to catch a shiny Vulpix for the longest time and I still can't even get it. You know, I just gave up. I mean, I can still get it, but I'm just like, why? Like, I'm bored, you know? But hopefully, th with the Gen 4 remakes, they, you know, have the Poke Radar back because that is my favorite method of shiny hunting. But for right now, I have mixed feelings about this. It's good and it's bad. The good thing is you don't have to buy a game again and start all over, but the bad thing is that it just kind of looks like the same as post content. Um, the game is kind of easy to begin with. Um, you, I don't really get attached to the Pokemon as easily, to be honest, because like 
Okay, well, after you beat the last gym, um, pretty much the wild area, everybody's level 60. And by that time, your Pokemon's like, let's say your Pokemon's like level 40 or level 50. You could pretty much go to the wild area, catch the exact same Pokemon, and it's stronger. Like, why not, right? By the, by the end of the game, I pretty much, all my Pokemon, my whole party, except for my starter. Um, actually, no, I did replace my starter, actually. So, pretty much by the end of the game, all my Pokemon were level 60, uh, recently catch Pokemon, and I went with the champion with that. Just because the Pokemon that I was training the whole game pretty much were under leveled, you know? So, I don't know, I kind of feel like they kind of made the wild area over leveled or not enough trainers, that's the thing. Like, this game didn't have enough trainers to begin with, so you don't really get a many experience. They do have the experience charm, which makes you level up faster, but I don't know when you're gonna get that. Hopefully, you know, it's post game because if you get it before, then it's pretty much gonna make the game even easier than it is right now. I mean, I don't know what else. I mean, they pretty much made a permanent experience share, so now you're getting over level, but I'm pretty much ranting or rambling at this point, so this is my thoughts about the new DLC. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the description below. I mixed about it. I'm not gonna get the first day. We'll see. Um, depends whether it's really good, if I hear it's really good. But so far, I'm just gonna wait for a bit just to see how it goes. Uh, most likely, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna get it, cause you know, I'm having every single Pokemon game. I, I love getting every single, um, content that I could get with Pokemon. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my rant or rambling, what I usually do all the time with Pokemon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.